Adrian Green, I'm telling you, he brings justice to poetry. I'm telling you right here. On Care Voice Radio, stick around as we get ready for our guest to join us in about uh, three to five minutes or so. We're going to be sharing one of the other songs from his album, In Love with the Savior. How can a, a program be anything else other than putting something together with some spirituality and call to order? I mean, this album is just fantastic. Keep us on the lock. Care Voice Radio, and you're listening to the first installment of Guess What? The one and only Indie Jazz Junction.
Listen to Car Voice Radio. We've got Mr. Lowry Leon with us. He's a fantastic music you've been listening to, of course. Welcome to Car Voice Radio, Leon. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are How how are the things just like? Things are pretty good. We're here relaxing in New York City, and we're just um, getting over some overcast skies all day. We expect some bad weather, but other than that, the best place to be is inside listening to some jazz like the one that you wrote in this brand new album. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the background behind I Am Barbados. What 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 uh, brought you to the the place where you wanted to come up with an album that signifies uh, oh, Barbados? Well, well, well. I've I've been I've been playing and and I'm backing um, artists for for a good number of years now, and I I guess it came to the point where I decided that it was time for me to start um, putting my own music out there. Um, I sat down and started writing music um, years. I have a lot of songs in my archives, and they say, you know what, maybe it's time for me to just push some of my stuff. Um, they said that, you know what, best way for me to push myself is, is, is based on my, my country, Barbados, and they said to write the album, I Am Barbados, um, featured, features all Barbados musicians, mm -hmm. um, Mauro Graves, um, Andrew Woodvine, Nicholas Timothy, Julian Griffith, um, I could go on. Um, so I just to say that, you know, maybe it was time for just to get get myself out there, um, get my music. People have been asking for a long time, when am I going to do my music? So I so I took the step, and and, and it's here. Um, we had a great launch um, at Frank Coloma Hall um, on the 11th of December. Um, great write-up in the newspaper in Barbados Nation um, about the performance, and the albums are going well. You know, it's available online, CD Baby. Um, dot com. You can see the dot com slash cd slash Lori Leon, or you can just search for I Am Barbados. It's there. You can buy it online. You can preview it. You can go to my Facebook page. You can preview the music there as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's been going well. Okay. Now, I, I am glad that you decided to come out with your music because, I mean, the compilation is so powerful. The connectivity that you have, the, the artists have with you, and, and one, song, one song on the album in particular moved me in a in a huge way and that's not easy it's um old time days tell us a little bit about the history okay. of that, that 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 particular piece well what, what happened is one day i was sitting i was sitting at school um while teaching and i happened to look out through the window and i, you know, I was starting to feel a little bad you know because because lately i i find um the youth have been getting a lot more violent, you know, a lot more aggressive, and rather than trying to talk with situations, you know, people just want to fight and that sort of stuff. And, and I started to, and, and this song came to me sitting there one day, and I just started playing, you know, take me back to the old time days. You know, my grandmother used to say, uh, respect for each other goes a long way. You know, I can remember days when walking on the street, if you did something that was inappropriate, somebody could actually say something to you. And, you know, by the time you get home, your parents will know what you did. You know, and you were corrected. Nowadays, you can't really say much to much people on the road. You know, you might get cancelled or whatever. You know, yeah. so that that song came out of of that of that feeling. You know, sitting that day, and and then so you know what? Maybe I need I need someone that can can really strongly put words across. And that's what I thought I called. I called it Adrian Green. You know, I'm rhythm poet, spoken word artist. I said, Adrian, I got a song here that I think that you would be great to put them on. And he said, you know what? Send me the song. Send me the song. He called me back in five minutes. He said, Lori, I coming by you to record a song. He loved this song. He came, he put it down, and that was it. I mean, we did it in, in two days. It was amazing. I, I, I think it's one of the most authentic pieces of literature I have heard collaborated within the, the sphere of jazz music ever in the history of my time listening to jazz. It is extremely timely and very powerful and I and I do commend Adrian Green for just bringing the natural flavor of concern and the consistency of the message yeah. in that song it's just too powerful for, for words and, I, and, and I'm going to say this I think that people that should pick this album up just as a, a, a calling card to say let us begin again because for me I'm going to tell you something quite honestly if I did not listen to your song this song in particular I would not have launched this show Right. And that's why I call it Indie Jazz Junction because every time I listen to one of your songs, I feel like you're at a crossroads and you're ready to jump over into something greater, more powerful, and you're looking to bring people with you, and it's very exciting. Now, tell us a little bit about the school. I know you were teaching a, a lot of the students at uh, Foundation School Music. That's right. And, and, and I'm sure that they're very excited to see the, their teacher 
on this album? What kind of comments or what kind of conversation have you had with the students about this album? Well, well, um, especially my CX, my CXC class, um, we had a conversation about, you know, about producing, about writing, about performing, and it was good for the lot. I actually had a set of students come to the performance, um, and, and they, they were like, shortly, sir, you don't sing so good, you know, I mean, I directly quiet, but normally I don't sing, because I, I don't, you know, I don't really cut down, I don't really teach them, whatever, and, and the students like, sir, that performance was great, sir, you know, I, I students buy albums, you know, the came, they start talking to friends, parents start asking about albums, you know, so, so the children were very excited. They, at first, they didn't recognize it was me on the poster at the school. Uh -huh. I was like, sir, that's you? You're an artist, sir? You know that you're an artist, you know? But but they were very uh, responsive. They liked the music. I mean, one of my students actually messaged me next like, day, sir, this album's so hard. I'm enjoying this music. And I was a little shocked to find students enjoying jazz, honestly, students that young. Um, enjoying jazz, but but they they're having a ball with it. They they love it. I mean, it's powerful. Tell me, what what are you, what are some of your immediate goals for uh, coming up? I mean, this holiday season and certainly next year with this album. Hello. Well, I I want I want to push the album. I really want to get up do some performance. Yeah, I'm I'm here already. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I want to push the album. Um, I want I want to. Get overseas and I do some performances. Um, I promote myself. I want to promote Barbados. I think I think the world needs to see that Barbados has quality musicians, has talented musicians, um, musicians of a standard that we can go anywhere in the world and and be on top. Just like um, Korea, Dave Rackle, you know the big boys. You know we we can go and perform and and wow persons as well. And I think I think that is what was shown at the launch and 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 the comments that I received. I mean, still people bought me on the road and hugged hug me. You know that performance was great. You know I hope you know the world gets to see this. And that's what I'm about. I'm about pushing Barbados to the world. Hence, hence the album and Barbados. Hence, hence the title track, Barbados. You know I got British stuff on there. I got oil stains on there because I am Barbados. You know my talent originally here. This is where I am. You know this is what I want to take to the world. So so I want. I'm going to be pushing it really hard. Um, um, got to got to speak about some persons about managing uh, PR work, you know, because I'm gonna I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna get out there as as much as I could. I mean, I, I, and it's out there already, and I'm and I'm certain if the the reaction by other people are is the same reaction that I've had, I'm sure it will be very successful. And there's another there's another song on the album, "In Love with the Savior." What what brought that about? How did that come into fruition in terms of history? Well, I first I first wrote that song years ago when I was in a band called Cornerstone. Um, it, it does have lyrics, um, but I felt um, I can express it even more um, instrumentally, and, and that's why I asked my friend Romaro Grizz, excellent saxophone player, um, to come in and sit with me. And we sat down, we went through the song, and and. And he exploded on on the song and, and he brought it to life. I, as you said earlier, um, the musicians really connected with the songs. The musicians I chose. I mean, I think that's the best thing about the album. Um, the musicians used for each song actually bring to life the, the context of what we wanted to say with the song. And and in love with the savior is exactly what it is. You know, it's, it, it is a gospel song. I'll probably release the one with the vocals someday, but not right now. Um, more feeling the instrumental as as it is. Um, at the launch, we did do part of the singing of it, and the crowd got the crowd um, interacted with it. They enjoyed it, and it was a lot of fun. So that that's basically how that came about. What in particular do you want people to to, to remember or to know about this album as you go forward? That is from Barbados. That that's my main thing. Cause I think because we're small, and then most of the time we are neglected. I mean, other than you know Rihanna's out there, you know we had the Harlington, um Chantel, you know, I mean, those are sing singers, you know, um, other than Nicholas Branker and our tour topping, a lot of the world doesn't already know, know the youngsters coming up um, that can play, you know, that can really perform, and, and I want them to see that, I want to see that, you know, Barbara still has a lot of talent here, and we're, we're, we, we want to come out there, we want to, to be part of the world standard, you know, we want to set the standard for the world to see that, you know what, Barbados is full of talented musicians, that, that's what it's about. Now the, the instrumentation on, on, on the album, all that, those are all live, live people playing live instruments. Most, most of them, yes. I played drums on, on three of the tracks. I'm Melvin Allen played drums on one track. Um, two of the tracks have programmed drums that I programmed myself. Um, but most of the instruments are live, live instruments. Okay. So, so should we be looking for Lowry Leon in Chicago, New York, Atlanta? 
the Carolinas. And, that's right. And that's, that, that's right. Coming up in the That's right. Any final thoughts that's right. that you want to share with our audience? Um, well, uh, so the goal is to the album, you know, and leave a comment, check on, on, on a review. Um, let me know what you think, you know, um, I'm, I'm sure that you'll be pleased. And I'm looking forward to the comments because I, I have other music to come out. You know, I want some stuff to influence the other music that I have to come out. So just leave a comment. Um, look at Barbados. Don't forget us. We have a lot of talent here. That, that's, that's about it. And again, how can people pick up your, your album? You can go on cdbaby.com slash cd slash Lori Leon, L-O-W-R-E-Y-L-E-O-N, or you can just search for I Am Barbados on cdbaby.com, and you will find the album there. You can purchase it there. If you're in Barbados, you can contact me, email me, Leon at gmail.com, or on Facebook. I will get the album to you. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to having you on the show again and also looking forward to your visits uh, to the US and elsewhere and I want to congratulate you again on a wonderful album definitely and I wish you got speed with, with the success of the album and certainly I will, I will be sharing it with other people and, and asking them to contribute because I know that it, it's a powerful um, album thank you thank you okay. thank you thank you Aubrey. all right take care all right bye all right, bye, bye. Radio